Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It's Francesco here. Today we'll be diving into getting started with Mem and what I wanted to do in today's video is create a note, link a note up and then we're going to explain sort of the inboxing function, task function and how to do templates. Now if you want to learn Mem from scratch we have a full course which you can check out in the link in the description and I'll include a nice discount if you wanted that as well. So let's dive in. As you can see this is what Mem looks like on Mac. You can download it on web. Um, well don't download it you just open up the web browser and it's there and as you can see um, it's got a sort of uh, like a simple sort of checklist down this left hand side. You've got timeline, inbox, tasks, groups, and flows. Now timelines, like basically your sort of uh, window into your notes, you can see all of your notes in a linear view. So you can see any notes you've opened or viewed, and you can start creating notes from here. So for example, if I wanted to maybe start tallying down a meeting, you can start seeing that as I type it disappears, but I've got myself a note to get started with a mem. And I could put this in heading one to make it stand out, and I can go ahead and start typing some away. Now, if I wanted to start maybe um, inviting Bob to this um, sort of link, I can go up here and share it and actually invite someone via email, or I could even publish it, which is a new uh, feature. Now, if I wanted to ever mention anybody I could press at, and as you can see, it brings up a few people you're already connected to. Now, in terms of creating a linked mem, so one that connects to another note that you have inside of your mem account, you can do that. So for example, if you wanna make a specific page on, on Bob, you could press plus, and I'm gonna say uh, Bob, we'll call him Fildberg. And as you can see, that note is being created. So if I press uh, Command, Enter, you can see that a note appears on the right-hand side. And I can actually swap it. So it means that Bob Philburb comes up right here. So I could, for example, uh, start using this as a, a micro CRM if I want to, start adding a few notes on Bob. So as you can see on this right-hand side, um, you can see that uh, Bob Fieldberg has a note or a mem attached to it. So I can go into that one. And as you can see, I get started with it straight away. Now, what's great about Mem is once you've connected those links, you can just build further and further connections between them. It's much like apps like Obsidian and Rome, just, in my opinion, a lot easier to sort of get going. Now, let's say I wanted to save this for later, or maybe it's something I need to build on, maybe build a template to it. I can go to Add to Inbox. Now, as you can see, it's in the inbox. So I can go over to this left-hand side and show you the second element of this app, Inbox. And you can see here, I could archive this by removing it from the inbox. I could snooze it for later. Let's say I've got that meeting in a couple of days, then I can do snooze. I can even mute it and even add a few tags. So tags are quite helpful for searching. You can share it, copy the mem link as well, which is all very helpful. Now I'm gonna show you tasks, but let's skip forward to template because this might be more helpful. Now templates are quite cool because you can create something that just press the slash command quite easy and you can create a template automatically. There are a couple of different templates. You can create a daily mem and a daily mem basically allows you to have it pop up at 6 a.m. and you could start filling it out. So this could be great for journaling. You could create a scheduled mem, which is a specific time that pops up. So let's say you do a workout every Thursday at three o'clock, you could schedule a mem and you could write down what you did for that workout. You can even configure text as well so you can capture on the go. I'll show you this calendar element near the end of the video, but there are some other integrations including Zapier and uh, there's an API as well. So let's configure our first ever template for meeting notes. So let's go ahead and create uh, a meeting note template. And I'm just gonna create a basic sort of structure. You can add any text you want in here using all of the regular text formatting. Here, I've automatically added a few items here. Um, and the great thing is I can use some of the placeholders that they have if I wanted to say, take um, some details of the event. So I could change this to, um, event details and I could use the the block um, uh, the block uh, brackets to basically uh, choose the date and as you can see I can even add my name as well but in this case I'm actually going to go ahead and press create template 
So I've got myself a first template. Let's go back to inbox and let's create it inside of this. Now, of course, I actually have an area that I can add this in now. So I'm actually gonna delete it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press slash command and type in meeting notes. And there we go, I've got myself instantaneously a lovely template. And you saw how fast that was. I can even add, uh, there we go. So I've all automatically got things going. So I'm gonna show you the task element now. Let's say me and Bob were chatting and we went, okay, let's uh, create event, uh, organize, uh, pub trip for after. <laughs> um, as you can see, these are action items. And if I go over to tasks, you can now see them as tasks. So what's cool is if I press enter, I can individually go to these tasks. And if I press right, I can snooze them. So I can say that's for tomorrow and maybe that's for next week. And as you can see, I've now got, that's for August, I've got upcoming tasks that are associated to the actual note itself. And you can actually go deeper in seeing the open and completed tasks and any hidden ones as well. So that's great for being able to connect things up. Another feature that's helpful is being able to configure your calendar. Okie dokie, so I connected my Google Calendar and if I go to the timeline view, I can now see all of my future events coming up. And you can see anything from all my haircuts uh, to any of the Grand Prix that are coming up. So you can connect specific calendars that are relevant and create uh, a note or a mem on each of these. So I know that for Steve's equipment, I need to tally up a few things that we need to make sure to prepare for. So it's really helpful and I can be able to just easily sort of create new notes from those meetings, which is perfect. So that's a little bit of an insight into how mem works. It's growing in popularity and it's also uh, getting plenty of features over time. So hopefully this gave you a short overview of how MEM works. Obviously there's tons more uh, in terms of features and learning it, so you can check out our course if you fancy it. Anyway folks, a big thank you. Please do make sure to subscribe, comment below with any questions, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.